Today on the Giveaway Gladiator build series, we're installing a high performance MBRP exhaust. So who is MBRP Exhaust? They're a company out of Ontario, Canada, and they've been building high performance exhaust systems for 20 years. They got their start in the snowmobile industry and then moved into the automotive industry. They build high performance exhaust for many different vehicles, including the big three here in North America, and of course the Jeep vehicles, which is what we're concerned about. Now, when we heard they released this new high performance exhaust for the Gladiator, we figured what the heck, let's put one on the giveaway Gladiator and get you some throaty sound. Now, why you'd want MBRP is because they build a free flow exhaust that's easy to install and they pride themselves in making an exhaust that's not annoying to run on the street. It has a nice mellow note running around town, but when you want to make some noise, get on it and it'll come alive. Now, obviously we've already installed the one in the giveaway Gladiator, so let's see how it's done. The MBRP exhaust is constructed from mandrel bent steel tubing that's been aluminized and then blacked out for that stealth look. The mandrel bends give us a nice smooth and consistent bend which will help keep that exhaust flowing very freely. It's three inch exhaust from the cat back to the Y where it then splits into two two and a half inch pipes. As you can see, this is pretty much the whole kit. There's not a lot to it. And by keeping the junctions to a minimum, MBRP has given us a nice quality fit and it's a quick and easy installation. So this is a cat back exhaust system. So we're gonna break into the factory exhaust system right here next to the transfer case. Use a 13 mil socket, come in from up above. And just loosen it up until this ball here is nice and loose. As we move down the frame rail, we've got two 13 millimeter bolts right here. Now we're gonna move up here to the back side of the muffler and get these two bolts at the cross member. We're going to move to the very back and get the last two 13 millimeter bolts up on the frame rail. Alright, we need to remove this ball clamp. So reach in here with the screwdriver and bend this little tab out. And the ball clamp comes off. And take the front section of the MBRP exhaust and slide the ball clamp on and slide it into the main muffler. All right, now we can slide the ball clamp up on. Now I actually turn the ball clamp around so the head of the bolt is facing down and then it just makes it easier to get at. Now, just snug it up a little bit, but make it so you can still rotate that ball a little bit. So as we line the whole exhaust system up. And same with this. So we have a mid hanger that goes right between these two mufflers. And you have to be really careful how you put it in with the clamp. And we found it was really tough to put it together under the vehicle. So we just pulled the whole unit out. Now what is easiest to do, take the nut and washer off, then slide the hanger on, and you gotta push down far enough to expose that, the threads. Then we can put our washer back on and then put the nut on, but only screw it down just a couple threads, just enough to engage it. We still need to make sure the clamp is open. And now this piece can go back up. Install the clamps on the end of your tubes, making sure that your nuts are facing down. Makes it a lot easier to get a socket onto it to tighten them up.
To get the right side hanger in, you have to fish this bolt in through the top and you gotta use the holes in the bottom of the frame and the side of the frame. It's actually kind of tough to get at. Make sure to get your Loctite out because we won't want this one coming loose. And then we can slide our bracket up in place. And one washer and two washers and then our nut. So just kind of pull down on that bracket and that'll help hold that bolt head a bit. Now with the whole system hanging, we can go back through and just start adjusting and tightening, making sure everything's tucked up out of the way, get all our clamps tight all the way out. And the biggest thing is, is we want to try to make sure that these tips, when we put the tips on, are going to be as level as possible looking at the back of the vehicle. So there you have it, the MBRP Gladiator Exhaust. It's a quiet at an idle, it's quiet driving down the highway, but when you want to get on it, you want to make some noise, it sounds nice and rumbly. It's easy to install, and of course we have it here at Northridge 4x4. You can find the link down in the description box to where you can get an MBRP exhaust for your Gladiator, or JL, or JK. Until next time, Click that like button, leave us a comment. What do you think? Do you have a high performance exhaust on your Jeep yet? If so, what do you have? What do you like? If not, take a look at the MBRP exhaust. And of course, I'd love to sit out here and talk to you about it, but as typical Washington weather, it was sunny one minute and all of a sudden it is starting to rain. So we're gonna get the Gladiator back into the studio and do more mods. So until next time, thanks Northridge Nation. Mash, mash that button, smash that button. <laughs> Brienne's favorite slam line. It, slam it. <laughs> Bop it. <laughs> oh boy. Tweak it.